This is code.org. Let's see what we're doing. Read the code and predict what will appear in the console. Run the code and watch how it works. And watch how each question is answered. Add code to answer the last two questions. You'll need to create a Boolean expression. Don't be scared of that. Let's hit run. Okay, so, oh, yep, is there, oh, so let's watch it run. Remember, we can control their speed here, log. Is three equal to five? False, because it's asking here, three equal equals five. Is three greater than three? False, yeah, three is not greater than three. Okay. Cool, so what is it doing? Let's scroll, I'm gonna hide this. Scroll up, there we are. Now, let's go to the top is three less than five. So we write it with this. And then in the console, we print out, the computer sees this and reads it as a question, three less than five. And the computer responds, true? Yes, that is true. Yes, three is less than five or false. Well, it responds true because well, three is, yeah, less than five. So now it goes, is three equal to five? Well, to check that, we don't use one equal sign. And that's because one equal sign makes a variable, right? Var x equals makes a variable. Two equal sign is what will ask the computer, hey, are these equal? And so the computer responds to this one, is three equal to five? Is three equal to five? False, because well, shockingly, three isn't equal to five. Is three greater than three? Is three greater than three? The computer looks at this and it doesn't print it out. If I put this in quotes, it would print out three greater than side and three. But the computer sees this as a question, as a Boolean and says, oh, okay, three is not greater than three. So that's false. Three is equal to three. All right, and same with this last one. Now let's see what we have to do. Is 10 less than or equal to 10? Uh, of course they make this complicated. So we need a count to log, and then what's their question? Is 10 less than, okay, so let's delete all that, including the quotes. Is 10 less than or equal to? So we need an or. Which one of these means or? Well, this I know means and, and. I can go ahead and reset. This means and, and. These two lines here actually mean or. This or that. So what happens is if I were to put something on this side that was true, then the whole thing is true. If this is false, it will check this thing and see if it's true. So is 10 less than or equal to 10? So first I need a less than sign, and I need to know if 10 is less than 10. Then I need to know if 10 is equal to 10. And I want to show you this. Obviously 10 is not less than 10, but this is going to say true because the computer says, yeah, that's false or, oh, okay, well, let me check this side. 10 is equal to 10. So then this line under the question five will print out true. Okay. Now, if this was an and here, it would print false because and means both sides have to be true and 10 is not less than 10. So, or works because this side is false, 10 is not less than 10, but it still says, okay, or is 10 equal to 10? Yes, so it prints true. Console log, is 10 minutes, is 10 minus three greater than three times three? Woo, okay, so we need a console log. Is 10 minus three greater than three times three? I'm gonna go to text because it might be a bit easier than trying to haul out the blocks right the first time. Is 10 minus 3 greater than 3 is greater than 3, 3, ah, I lost it, 3 times 3. Okay, now let's go back to box so it makes sense. So is 10 minus 10 greater than 3 times 3? Okay, I'm going to speed this up. It's going to go fast. Let's run it. Is 10 minus 3 greater than 3 times 3? No, because 10 minus 3 is 7, and is 7 greater than 3 times 3, which is 9? No, it's not. So true and false. And you can see how it evaluates all of these. And keep in mind for 6, notice we did the subtraction here, then we looked greater than, right? So it did this math side first, and then compared the two expressions, right? Awesome. Let's uh, keep going.